You? Is anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends, the Goldbergs, are here. Brought to you by Does, the new kind of soap for everything in your wash. First, let's drop in on the Dozen family. Well, there's Daisy Dozen and her beau Donald sitting in the living room. They've just been listening to Daisy's favorite swooner singing on the radio. Oh, didn't he sing divinely tonight, Donald? Who? Oh, the voice? Yeah. Gee, I'd give anything to have him sing a song just for me. Oh, gosh, Dreamcake, I wish you felt like that about me. Wish you could sing like he does. Sunday, Monday, and always. Oh, Donald. Honestly, I'd even do his washing Sunday, Monday, and always. Uh, with does, I suppose. What else would I use? Everybody knows this new kind of soap does everything in the wash, from overalls, towels, to rayon slips. I'll bet your great swooner doesn't know about does. Don't be silly, Donald. Gee, does and I could he keep his shirt so dazzling white. Ma says no soap gets shirts and towels whiter than does. Say, I wear white shirts too, Daisy. Then I does all his slacks. Keep them nice and clean, the way Ma does Pa's work clothes and overalls. Does does them easy, you know, without any hard scrubbing at all. And I suppose you does his pretty rayon slips, too. Honestly, Donald, I does my slips. Does is safer for the nice colors in the wash. Helps them stay pretty longer. Here, listen to this, dream cake. Daisy, Daisy, be my wife. Will you does my clothes for life? <laughs> Donald, you're sweet, even if you can't sing. Oh, Daisy. Oh, boy, does sure does everything. In the wash, anyway. Why, ladies, do you know does is the only leading wash day soap that gives longer life to the colors you wash, plus unsurpassed whiteness for towels and linens, and real cleaning power for the dirtiest work clothes. Does does everything. Why not start dozing at next wash day? And now the Goldbergs. Worry grows and spreads just like a fog. It begins as a tiny puff of rising vapor and then swells until it envelops you and every corner of your being is penetrated with it. And then it becomes fear, an uneasy, troubled kind of fear. When Sammy's letter arrived from a hospital in Florida, at first Molly was puzzled by its wording. Then she began to read between the lines, imagining all sorts of things. And as her questions multiplied, so did her fears. What was the matter with Sammy? Just what did his letter mean? Listen. Rosalie? Rosalie? Yes, Molly. Come in, darling. Why don't you try to sleep? I will, darling. I will. Go, darling, you go to sleep. It's in the middle of the night. What did Papa go down to the kitchen for? He's warming himself some milk. I disturbed him. Even Papa thinks that there's nothing to worry about. I'm not worrying, Rosalie, darling. Well, you should be happy that Sammy's home, Ma. He's not home. He's in Florida. He's in a hospital. But he's all right. He, he wrote the letter himself. I know. I know, Rosa. Where's the letter, Ma? I have it. Well, read it again, and, and don't read things into it that aren't there. Where, where is it? Wait, darling, call. I'll get out of bed. Give me my kimono. It's hanging. All right. I'll get your slippers, too. I got my slippers right here, on the my bed. Just my kimono, darling. Somebody's downstairs in the kitchen with Papa. I think Mr. Mayer. Mm, they shouldn't wake everybody. Dora's sleeping on top of the kitchen. Here, Ma. Thank you. Put a light on, down. Where's Sammy's letter? Wait. Tell me, Ma. I'll get it. And your pillow? Why not? Why not, Rosalie? Ma. Mama, darling, will you just sit down, please, and, and let me read Sammy's letter to you? Please. Didn't I read it? Let me read it. I know how you read it with your fears and your feelings and... All right. All right. So you read it. So let me hear. And listen to me. All right. I'm listening. Dear folks, Mom and Pop and Rosie, this is my new address. A hospital. Even Sammy knew that you jump at conclusions. Mm-hmm. Please, Ma, let me read it exactly as he has it here. Please. Dear folks, dear Mom and Pop and Rosie, 
this is my new address, and don't jump to conclusions. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to be worried about. Mm -hmm. And look, he has that underline, see? I saw the underline, I saw. So read further. I'm just sending you this quick note because phone connections are very difficult and I couldn't get you. Why is phone connections very difficult? Why was the telephone so hard to get? Well, you know that phone connections are not easy now. All right, Leslie. All right, darling. So put away the letter. I know the letter, Rosalie, please. He's coming home soon to stay for a while, Ma. But why in a hospital? Well, Mr. Mayor thinks Mr. that... Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor has a daughter, Rosalie. And his thinking and mine thinking Ma. cannot grow in central. My, if you just All wait right, and... All right, Rosalie, darling. Please, please, darling. It's enough already. Please, go to bed. In the morning, we'll see. You're not going to Florida, Ma. Go to bed, darling. Please. Oh, who is that now knocking? Who is it? Me. It's Uncle David. Come in, David. David, Mommy. you're not sleeping. Mommy. Mommy, Jay Jake is beside himself with you. You got the letter from Sammy. He'll be home soon on a furlough, so... So why are you he's so... He's in the hospital, David. So he's in the hospital. In the hospital. Sammy wasn't in the hospital when, when you took him with the tonsils. No. Wasn't he in the hospital when, when you took him with the, with the radoners? Huh? And, and when he fell down from the bicycle, he, he didn't broke his ankle. And he didn't have to go to, to the hospital. Hospital. The hospital. When, when, when he had this appendicitis, he had to go not only to the hospital, but, but in an ambulance hospital. You, you see yourself, Molly. He writes in his own handwriting, personally. And nobody had to write for him. So why are you so... All right. If you would get a letter, and you would see maybe a, a nurse wrote the penmanship. So all right, worry. But like this. He writes the person to person, dear Ma, Pa, and Rosie, and that he didn't say, Uncle David, I excuse him. <laughs> On the bottom, he wrote, Uncle David. I want to be in the top, not, not in the bottom, I want to be. <laughs> David, how long does it take to go to Florida? But where's the letter? I know, he says he's coming home soon. So, so why should you... Mama, darling, first of all, you have to get permission to visit an army hospital. So I'll get... Well, that takes time, and, and Sammy said he'll be home soon. Did you see this sentence, David? Give me Rosalie. I know what you mean, Ma. Listen, Uncle David. Before I write any more, I want you to understand that I'm all right. I'm not wounded, not even a scar. At least none that you can see. So? At least none that you can see. What is the at least, David? The at least is uh, uh, that he's glad he's... Well, if it's oh? Mrs. Mayer, darling, I don't want yeah, anybody. Oh, it's Dora, Ma. It's Dora. Dora's not sleeping, not neither. Come in, Dora. Dora, oh, darling. Uh... Mrs. Goldberg, please. Sammy's going to be home soon. Isn't that wonderful? That's what I say. It's wonderful. But Molly... Dora, did, did you see Sammy's letter, Dora? Yes, Dora read it. You did, Dora? Yes. And you, uh, you saw the sentence that... Uh, there's the sentence, no scars, at least none you can see? Ma. Molly. So, so, Dora, dear, darling, what do you think Sammy means? I think he means a different kind of scar. Do you think that any of us will come out of this without scars of some kind? They don't have to be from bullet wounds or from shrapnel or bayonets. You don't have to be Molly from what Dora said. Do you think Sammy could go through such an experience and not be affected by it? There are memories that leave scars, Mrs. Goldberg. That's what Sammy means. They aren't the kind of scars you can see. Not, not the scars you, you can see, Molly. Dora's right, Ma. And now, Mrs. Goldberg, you go to bed. Please go to bed, Ma. And just remember what you yourself said this afternoon. Remember? While the world is the way it is and things are the way they are, you wouldn't want Sammy any place but where he is. Helping to make things right. Helping to make things better. You thought Sammy was far away in Africa when you said that. 
Now he's right here. And he'll be right here in this house soon. My words, darling. My words. No, not my words, Rosalind. All right. All right, but I want to go to Florida. Ma, please. You go to bed and sleep. And in the morning, we'll see. I want to go to Florida. We'll see in the morning. Good night. Good night, Dora. Come on, Rosie. Good night, Mama Dow. Give me the letter, Rosie. Where have you got it? Give me. Here. Good mm -hmm. night, Ma. Good night, Dora. Good night. Good night, Dora, dear. Good night. Good night, David. And Molly. Remember Pearl Harbor, Molly. Remember. Well, perhaps that's what Sammy means in his letter. But whatever the truth really is, Molly can understand one thing. And that is, there are memories that leave scars. After all, the one that Sammy is going to war left is still not really healed. But all that can be done now is to wait and try to sleep. Yes, that's the hard part. Try to sleep.